What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the series. This is part two. This is custom audiences. Um, if you didn't catch yesterday's video, you better go back and watch it, man. I'll put the link in the description. Um, yesterday's video was simply setting up step-by-step -step a custom conversion. And I don't want to go into too much detail of that. That was all in, in, in part one. So make sure you watch that because if you're any type of business where you're looking to capture a lead, right? Name, email, and build a list of, 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 of interested buyers or interested, you know, customers, clients, whatever. If you're looking to capture leads, that's number one. If you're looking to make a sell, you have a Shopify store, you have some type of online e-commerce store, and you're looking to drive sales, or number three, you're looking to get people to schedule appointments. If you're running Facebook ads, if you're running Instagram ads, and you're one of those three types of businesses, conversions, when you come in here and click the green button, conversions is going to be the objective you run, okay? But what I did in yesterday's video is I walked you through step-by-step -step how to set up a custom conversion. So make sure you watch that. In this video, I'm gonna set up custom audiences and we're gonna just simply pick up where we left off. And a custom audience, you guys, is, is key. Like everything in Facebook advertising evolves around custom audiences and retargeting those custom audiences, okay? Now, let me explain what a custom audience is. As I'm in the newsfeed and I just scroll through, scroll through, seeing what everyone's posting, seeing what my friends are up to, and I come across a sponsored ad, okay? Whether it's an image or a video, let's say this was a video. In fact, let me give you, let, let's really see if we can find a video because I'm gonna give you both examples. That's not an ad. Let's see if we can find a, that's an image. And if I can't find a video, I'll just, it's the same thing. Okay, perfect, perfect example. Here's one type of custom audience. One type of custom audience is where I come across a sponsored ad, it's a video, this is a two minute video, and now I'm watching 10 seconds, 11 seconds, 12 seconds, 13 seconds. What this guy Ted is doing is he's creating custom audiences of those who are watching his videos. Not necessarily watching the full two minutes, but watching a certain percentage. For those who watch 30 seconds of his video, he's able to take that audience, put it into a custom audience, and retarget that audience in the future. That's powerful. Because when you can really break it down, a two minute video, for me to sit here and watch 40 seconds of his two minute video, that's a long time. For me to sit here and watch 50 seconds of his two minute video, that's a long time. So if anyone is watching, that many seconds or that many minutes of a video ad, there was some type of interest there. For me to want to watch more than 15 seconds of something, my interest is there, right? There's no way in hell I'm going to sit here and watch two minutes and be like, damn, that, that was whack. Like, I'm most likely not going to do that. Neither are you. If you're nowhere interested in this at all, you would have kept going. You would have kept going after three seconds, right? So for, for someone to really capture an audience of people who are watching, let's just say more than 15 seconds of a video, that's a powerful audience. You want to be able to retarget those and show them your next ad. Show them your next ad. Show them your next ad. People who are watching your videos, keep showing them your next ad. That's on video views. Now, what happens when I click and go over to his landing page? That's another type of audience, okay? Those who land here but do not opt in is a certain type of visitor, okay? Now, I saw the ad. I clicked on the, the call to action button. I came to the landing page, but for whatever reason, I didn't opt in. And it could be many reasons, right? Maybe I'm driving. I couldn't type. Maybe I'm at home and my baby just took a crap and I got to go change his diaper. Maybe I'm at home and my wife is yelling at me to tell me to go flip the burgers because they're burning. Many things happen, man. So if I'm seeing an ad and people are coming here and they're just not opting in, they got this far and they got this far for a reason. Create a custom audience. Look, what he has up here, look, he has his Facebook pixel tracking everyone who lands here. And again, the power of this is he's now going to be able to take those who don't opt in. He's going to be able to take those who don't opt in, create an audience, and continue to show them future ads. That's powerful. Now, here's the next type of audience. 
Let's say I come here and I actually opt in. I then go to the thank you page. This thank you page, this is another custom audience. These are people who are leads, right? I went to the landing page, I opted in, I then came here, okay? That's a lead, that's a custom audience. Why is that so important? Why is it so important to create a custom audience around those who land on the thank you page? around those who opted in. Because as I continue to run future ads on the same offer, right? I now wanna be able to exclude this audience from ever seeing my next ads. They already opted in, they're already a lead. Why do they need to keep seeing future ads? They don't, right? So you create custom audiences. You create custom audiences to either, number one, include them in future targeting or exclude them from future targeting. That's super important when it comes to your Facebook conversion. That's what that's super important when it comes to your Facebook budget. Like you want to be able to segment these audiences and it goes way deeper than just these two pages. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to create custom audiences around three different pages um, here in this account that I'm currently working on. And again, if you didn't catch yesterday's video, click on the link in the description. That's for part one. You'll see it right below. Okay. So let's get on with it. Let's get out of Ted's page. Let's go back to um, the three pages. Here's page number one. So again, yesterday's video, I added the pixel. So now we got the pixel on the landing page. When they opt in and they download the book, we got the pixel on the thank you page. And then when they go and schedule an appointment, right? They go and schedule an appointment. We got the pixel on the thank you for scheduling page. We also set up a custom conversion around these pages, okay? Around the thank you for scheduling page and around the thank you, your ebook is on the way page, your thank you page. Those are the two custom conversions, okay? But now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create custom audiences. So number one, we're either, we're either gonna create custom, or not either, it's not either, it's actually both. We're gonna, we're gonna create custom audiences around people who are watching our videos, but we don't have a video right now and that's fine. So right now in this example with this video, I'm gonna show you how we create custom audiences around the pages, okay? So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna come into the ads manager and all you're gonna do is hit your home button, come to your timeline, click on ads. That's gonna bring you down to the, back here to the ads manager. Make sure you're in the right ads account. You click on these dots up here in the top left and now we're gonna go to audiences, okay? We're gonna create three simple audiences around these pages. Website visitors, people who only land here and don't opt in people who opt in and come to the thank you page, and then people who schedule an appointment and come to this thank you confirm, your appointments confirm page, okay? Those are our three custom audiences. So I'm gonna click the three dots, I'm gonna click on audiences, I'm gonna come right over here, and I'm gonna click on create a custom audience. And again, over here, I can create many different custom audiences. I can create the video one like I, like I mentioned. I can create a, a, an audience around an email list. So if I have an email list of a bunch of people who already opted in, I can export that email list out of my CRM, upload it to Facebook and create a custom audience. If I have an email list of all my customers, I can, I can export that lead list, upload it to Facebook and create a customer, a custom audience around my list, right? So in this case, and I can do Instagram account, my Facebook page, anybody who engages in my Facebook page, put them in a custom audience so I can retarget them in the future or exclude them from seeing ads in the future, right? So in this case, I'm gonna go website and we're gonna simply add our links right over here. So what we're looking for is this drop down all website visitors. We're gonna go very specific, okay? People who visit a specific page, and I'm gonna take it to the max of 180 days. So anyone who, who reaches this page, who lands on this page within 180 day period, they'll be in this audience, okay? So I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna take the link. I only need the URL, I don't need the HTTPS, I don't need the www, I just need this part right here. I'm gonna copy that, I'm gonna bring it over here, I'm gonna paste it in, and here's what I'm also going to do. <clears throat> okay, this is next level stuff. You gotta be thinking like a ninja, okay? This is very precise targeting. There's really two types of people who I can call a landing page visitor. There's two types of people, okay? Person number one, is a person who comes to the page and then leaves. They don't opt in, right? They don't download now, right? 
That's person number one. Person number two also came to the page, but they actually downloaded now, right? They actually opted in. They both fit the criteria. They both fit the title of landing page visitor, right? One opted in, one didn't. So in this case, I want to be very specific. I want to create an audience around those who didn't. Those who did not opt in, I need to be specific about it. Okay, so ebook landing page visitors only. Okay, and here's how I do it. So there's the URL for the page. What I'm going to do is I'm going to exclude anyone who landed on the thank you page. So if you landed on the thank you page, you're not in this audience, okay? If you landed on the thank you page, you are not in this audience, okay? This is only people who did not land on the thank you page in the last 180 days, and, and they're also people who didn't schedule a call, okay? So I'm very specific. Again, you guys, this is, again, this is ninja stuff, you guys. So... I'm excluding anyone who landed on those two pages. They only landed on the, on the landing page, okay? Very specific. There goes custom audience number one, okay? The next custom audience that I'm gonna create is only the thank you page. So these are people, oops, let's go back. Actually, that's not, let's go back. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. This one right here, okay. These are gonna be people who landed on the thank you page, the thank you for downloading my book, okay? That's this link right here. So they hit the landing page, they opt in, they go to the thank you page, it's this link right here. This is my custom audience, okay? So I'm gonna hit the, I'm gonna hit the blue one again. I'm gonna hit the blue link again, the blue button. I'm gonna custom audience. And this one right here, I'm gonna go specific, I'm gonna go 180, and I'm gonna hit that link, bam. And this right here is ebook leads, bottom line, ebook leads. That's that, that's that, I don't need to exclude anyone. Bam, right there, okay? Now, the next audience that I'm going to create is going to be those who scheduled an appointment. Okay, so we'll go to the thank you for scheduling. We'll grab this URL. We'll change this drop down to specific. We'll go 180 and we'll paste in that link. And this right here is ebook. All right, no, I'm gonna just go straight appointments. So, so scheduled appointments. Bam, scheduled appointments. Okay, create audience. And there it is there, you guys. Hit done, and now Facebook will start to populate these audiences, and they'll be ready. So as, as I start to run ads, okay, as I start to run ads, and this pixel starts to gather data, the pixel starts to gather data, that's when these audiences will start to grow, okay? Um, and that's when I'll be able to use these audiences or not use these audience, right, exclude them, in future ads. But one thing I want you to keep in mind is what you'll always include in every ad from let's just call it ad number three and on, ad number three and on, ad number two and on. What you'll always include in your retargeting are the visitors. Always retarget your web page visitors for sure. These are people who have not opted in. So I don't care if you're nine ads down the line, always retarget this audience. Because that audience is going to, every ad you run, every day that these ads are running, people are landing on that page and not opting in. So you're able to capture that data and retarget, 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 right? And, and here's what I'm going to do also. Let's create one other one of the video. Because I know there's one video on the page. So let's go and find that video. I'm going to go with anyone. I'm going to go 25%, okay? I'm going to retarget people who watched 25% of... Let's go with, where's that video? Um, it's actually on this page. This one, right? It's actually this one right here. Now it's not a big, it's not a big one at all, 
But as we continue to run it, which this is the one we're running an ad on, want to know the secret of creating? Yeah, click learn more to, yeah, perfect. So this is the video, okay. So the video was uploaded to the business page. I'm about to run an ad on it. And in the meantime, I'm gonna create a custom audience at the same time, okay? So anyone who watches this video for at least 25%, okay? 25% watched 25% of first video. Okay, watch 25% of first video ebook. Okay, that right there, you guys, create audience. That's how you create an, a custom audience around people who are watching your videos, okay? Now, you don't want any random video. Like, so if you have like 13 views on the damn video, don't create a custom audience around that, especially if it's gonna stay at 13 views because you're never, you're never gonna run an ad on it. You're really only creating custom audiences around videos that you're running ads on because those are videos that are going to get thousands of views if you're running ads the right way. Um, so that right there is going to be the first video that we run an ad on. And I just set up a custom audience um, before I even run the ad, which I'm about to run the ad, you know, in the next video. So you'll see the next video, actually part three is going to be creating multiple ad sets. Okay. So it'll be a four part series. It'll be a four part series, this video. So you're catching part two right now. If you didn't watch part one, watch part one. That link is in the description, but make sure you check tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow's gonna be part three. And that's where I'm gonna take all this and create multiple ad sets. We're gonna go through the, 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 through the, um, the ad setup, but what I'm really gonna focus on is multiple ad sets. How do we create multiple ads, multiple targeting within one ad, okay? That's what we're gonna do next. So that's gonna be part three. Don't miss that video. This right here is Facebook custom audiences. Step up your game, you guys. You gotta be able to segment these audiences so your ad budget isn't through the roof and you're capturing more leads than you can possibly handle. All right, guys, so I'll see you on the next video. That will be next part three, over and out.